Well, we shall await to get uh, final numbers officially from the Nepal administration. Uh, but as of now, what we are going with is that the Nepal media is quoting a number of 30 people who have died, 30 passengers who were on board. But there were 68 passengers uh, who were present in that 72-passenger uh, aircraft with uh, also four crew members to the 68 passengers list. But what we can tell you at this point in time is that the high-level meeting has been called by the Nepal uh, Prime Minister. And this comes, of course, as a rescue operation is underway. The Prime Minister of Nepal, Pushpal, Pushpa Kamal Dahila Prachanda, has called an emergency meeting of all the Council of Ministers. Prachanda has also instructed the Ministry of Home Affairs, Security Personnel and all agencies of the government of Nepal to carry out effective rescue operations. Well, we're getting you those uh, visuals on your screen and the Prime Minister of Nepal had also tweeted with the Prime Minister's office had put out a tweet saying that I'm deeply saddened by the tragic accident of a uh, Yeti Airlines uh, ANC ATR-72 which was flying from Kathmandu to Pokhara with passengers. I sincerely appeal to the security personnel, all agencies of the Nepal government and the general public to start an effective rescue and that is uh, what the Prime Minister's Office of Nepal had put out. And the Prime Minister of Nepal had also tweeted saying that I'm deeply saddened by the sad and tragic accident of Yeti Airline ANC ATR-72, which was flying from Kathmandu to Pokhara with passengers. I sincerely appeal to the security personnel, all agencies of the Nepal government and the general public to start an effective rescue operation. Uh, unquote. That is what the Prime Minister of Nepal has tweeted a short while back, uh, expressing his concern and extending uh, you know, his condolences. He has put out a tweet saying that effective rescue must be started forthwith by the government and the people at large. And the visuals are on your screen where you can see those in uniform and several civilians have also come to the rescue to try and uh, bring the situation under control to try and bring the fire that was uh, ablaze at the aircraft flight crash uh, spot. But they are yet to ascertain the numbers of the passengers who have uh, lost their lives in this massive tragedy. We are awaiting an official number to be declared by the Nepal administration. What we can go with right now is that 30 people have uh, died in this massive tragedy. What we are also given to understand that there were 10 foreign nationals on board that particular flight. We do not know their identity so far. So we are going to wait for more information to emerge before we put out details.